We like to deal with facts here at Face the Truth. And Farah, she left the show because she said that we were lying about her drug test. We have Joanne, and she administers all of the drug tests. Could you please let us know the results that you found? Yes, I administered the tests five minutes apart for each for Deborah and for Farah. Farah was the first person. And I waited, as the test said, five minutes. And it showed, it was about 17 drugs that we tested for. And it showed up for barbiturates that she was positive. Just to be clear, 100% that was Farah's drug test. 100%. And Joanne, she's free to go, and it, she can go today and retest if she believes oh, that we absolutely. altered it, just to prove we were wrong. Is that correct? I correct. Mean, yes, because we're not looking to accuse her of anything. Right. No, right. No. This was Let's what. The fact. Yeah. This is the fact. Her to face the truth. truth more yeah. than anything else. It is too bad before we. She left really before getting a real resolution with, with her you, and her mother. I mean, I honestly thought that we had did a breakthrough. I mean, you all hugged each other, which right. I'm sure you all hadn't done that in a long right. time. Right. And, you know, you're still here, and we appreciate that you're still here. So right. um, do you mind accepting um, some resolutions from the Truth Team about how you... I would love to. Right. All righty. Yeah. Okay. Judge Mary? <laughs> I can only tell you what my mother did with her children uh, when she had crises going on, and that's the power of prayer. And I'm a mm -hmm. strong believer in the power of prayer Absolutely. and hope. Man, I agree. I agree. Dr. Judy. Deborah, I know you have a lot to work through when there's a grandchild in the picture and you want to have a relationship with her. Right. And we want you and Fair to actually get to some real solutions. So what we're giving both of you is free therapy. Psychotherapist Ira Israel here in Los Angeles has agreed to offer Fair six months of weekly visits free of charge and cameras. And Deborah, we reached out to Dina Crosby Counseling near your home in Omaha. She agreed to offer you three months of weekly therapy as well. Ariva. Deborah, I'm a mom and I just empathize with you. And I would just say, don't give up on your daughter. She needs you. She right. thinks she knows everything, yeah, but as does. we all see today, she doesn't. So keep loving. Farah, even through the difficult times. Yeah. And please, please, please keep Sophia safe. Yes. Thank you. Rosie. You know, these situations are so tough because as a single mom, we want to do everything right for our kids. We don't want them to fail. We want to see them win. We want to see them succeed. But unfortunately, you know, as they grow up and become adults, they have to make their own choices. Yes. And by them, we have to stand. We have to choose to love them in the good, and we have to choose to love them in the bad. Mm -hmm. And all I have to say is at the end of the day, for the single moms that are out there, love always wins. If you find yourself lost and you don't know what to do with your child, you don't know how to handle a situation, always come from a place of love. Don't criticize. Sometimes as mothers, we have to be silent and just give unconditional love. Thank you, Rosie.